Hello, good evening. How are you? Okay, thank you for being on time. Rafael, Jose, Isaias, Ana Maria, Claudia, and Ana Garcia. It's nice to see you again. Now we are going to begin with the class. Yesterday we introduced, well, everybody actually here in the class. Uh, have you studied before? Uh, were you part of a previous group or is this the first time that are you all together? Well, this is my first time. This is the, your first time here in the class? In yes. The support. Okay, yes. very good. And the rest, have you been in a group for a while or is this the first time that you meet each other? Some, some persons are different. Um, different groups? Yeah. Okay, I understand. Very good. Uh, yes, because sometimes there are groups like they have come together for many levels, right? And they are going to graduate uh, at the end, like together. But no problem. Very good. I just wanted to know that. Uh, thank you for being here and thank you for being in time. Now we are going to start the class. I don't know if you have worked in the um, in the platform. Have you done yes, anything? But... Yes. Yes, I did, but I don't know what happened with uh -huh. one of, of the exercises. Well, maybe I made uh, different mistakes or I'm not sure about it because in one of them, let me check. I think it's the third part when it says rewrite re the sentences using infinitive or gerund phrases. So in my opinion, that uh, those are fine, but well, the system does not. So I don't know if we are going to check it later or not. Yeah, we can check it right now. Actually, uh, the platform, you can uh, complete it whenever you want to. Sometimes it takes a while, right, for, or sometimes it doesn't load. That's the problem but we are going to check it if you have problems. Also, another problem with the platform is that uh, if there is like a letter that is not correctly written or if there is a period missing there or okay. something, it takes us like incorrect. Probably it is correct, the, the what you have written, but it takes it as incorrect, but we are going to check it if you want to. It will be the third part. Yes, that's Section correct. One. Yes. Okay, let's see, section one. And it's about gerunds and infinitives, right? Yes. Okay, this is the beginning. This is the listening exercise. Is this the listening now, right? No, it's the third one. The 1.8? Mm, yes. Yeah. Mm, okay. Very good. It says rewrite the sentences using reported speech. Reported speech. Oh, this was this was his reported speech, right? Mm. Is this one? Yeah. That reported one speech. and the first one. That okay. one and the first yes. one. Yes. This one, right? 1.2. Yes, that's correct. Okay, rewrite the sentence using infinitive or gerund phrases. Remember to use capital letters and periods. It's appropriate to talk about politics, politics at work or school. Okay, we are going to check the responses just for you to check. For, okay. for example, in the first one, it's appropriate uh, like to talk. We omit appropriate and is talking, right? Talking about politics at work or school is inappropriate. So this infinitive, we change it into a gerund. Talking, right? Talking about politics at work mm -hmm. or school is inappropriate. I don't know if you check that. Yes. It's is correct. inappropriate, right? Inappropriate, yeah. Inappropriate. Yes. yes. The second one is, it's often considered rude to ask someone's age, but according to the platform, it's incorrect. Exactly. 
Claudia. Uh, oh. it's, next yes. one is it's impolite, right? Okay. It's impolite to use certain gestures in some foreign countries. So okay. it has to be like that. If if you don't write it like that, mm -hmm. it will be incorrect. Okay. Asking someone's age is often considered rude. It's often considered rude to ask someone age. It's often Consider rude to yes. ask someone's age. Well, yes, I have the same. Okay, <laughs> let's see the next one. Uh, sometimes it's the apostrophe sometimes also. Um, in the U.S., addressing a professor by his or her first name is oh. unusual. And the number five, in many cultures, it's customary to hug friends when you greet them. Okay. And uh, asking strangers, right, is in some countries, it's inappropriate to ask strangers if they're married. So we are going to check if all of these um, are correct. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, that's this one probably because... Let's see again. It's um, often rude. Okay. Do you have everything correct? Or there's no. another problem? No, no, no. I have many errors and I think it's grammar or something. <laughs> because- Yeah, because uh, actually these are the, the answers, but- um, Okay. I will I will share the answers later in the group. Okay. So probably you can copy them because as you can see, this one is incorrect and is the the one that is showing there, right? Yes. So let me see here. Yeah, because this is kind of tricky. If it is not like that, I will I will report it, right? Lo voy a reportar para okay. que todo esté bien. But normally, okay, most perfect. of them are, are, are correct, right? And yes. in the reported speech, right? We haven't studied that, but we can we can check it. Like, I'm not surprised at all. She told me. So in reported speech is something that we use, as you can see, or if you watch the videos before, um, it's something that somebody else said, right? So this is the example, right? I'm not surprised at all. She told me. She told me that she wasn't surprised at all, or she told me that she wasn't surprised at all, right? So let's see the responses. If you have a uh, problem with this, like in this example, we can we can check it. No, I, I think it's my keyboard Your or keyboard. something. Yeah, because I think it is in Spanish. So uh, I don't know what happened with this, but I. I cannot find the apostrophe. So uh, tomorrow I'm going to check this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. no problem. Sorry for that. Sorry but about will, that. <laughs> yeah, I will I will share the, the responses also in the group if you still have this problem. I'm just checking if everything is correct right now. Okay, sorry. Yes, you see these two are incorrect. So if you still have this problem, I will try to check it later. But and I will share the responses so or I will report it, okay? Okay. Okay. I'm sorry for that, but we will try. I guess that this one is because uh they have two options. Let me see here. I just want to make sure. Let's see. Yes, because the platform is really tricky, you see. So if there is the apostrophe, sometimes it's just the letter. Sometimes it's the space that you don't yes. have to leave any space. Okay. But I will check it later, but I'll, we will try to cover it. Okay, no problem. No worries about that. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I don't know if the rest has uh, started working in this. Alguien más empezó a trabajar en la plataforma también? 
Yes. And did you complete level one or like the, the first uh, section? No, I had the same mistake. The same problem. Yes. Okay, try to check it. And if you still have problems with any word or anything, I will try to check it. And if it's still having problems, if you're still having problems, I will report it, right? Because if it is if it is correct, you should check it as correct. And I will report that. Okay. Si todavía tienen uh, problemas después de, de revisarlo, porque este es a report speech. Y si algún tiene, uh, si mañana algún tienen problemas con eso, errores, avísenme, mándenme qué parte es, si es la 1.8 o la 1.2. Y yo lo voy a revisar, ¿ok? Yes, because this will... Uh, actually, I don't check the platform that much. Uh, this is like a homework for you to do in your free time. And I try to solve these questions after I have explained the topics. But uh, we have more exercises there. But it's true, platform is kind of tricky right now. But I will show you right now some of the parts that we can find in the platform some of the information. We are going to talk about gerunds and infinitives, right? It says, by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use and practice infinitive and gerund phrases. Gerunds and infinitives. I don't know if you have watched uh, the video and if you can tell me in your own words, what is a gerund and what is, what is an infinitive? If there's any similarity or if there's any difference between them. Well, the gerund has the I, ing at the end, mm -hmm. and the infinitive, you have to use the verb in the simple and the simple way. I don't know to say that with the two. base form. Uh -huh. In the base form. Exactly, base form with two. Yeah, who else wants to share the, their concepts with gerunds and infinitives? Who else? Quien más? What is a gerund and what is what is an infinitive? What is the difference between gerunds and infinitives? And what is the similarity? The gerund is when a uh, uh, a word finishing n in ing, mm -hmm. and infinitive is when you uh, put before the verb the the preposition the to to go to to run and you use it the verb in simple form okay very good very good thank you Liu. exactly it says both are verbals right they are not verbs they are verbals verbals are words formed from verbs but functioning as a different part of speech a noun right so they can uh, we can use it as nouns right they are not going to be verbs. They are going to be like uh, verbals, right? Gerunds and infinitives. And as you mentioned, Anna Maria and Eliu, gerunds, they finish with ing, right? For example, ending, right? Ending. And infinitives, we use the particle to plus the base form of the verb, like to go, to run, to eat. Um, no questions about that, right? Everything's clear with that. Okay, no questions. Everything's clear. Gerunds, infinitives, infinitives, gerunds. Okay, very good. So what are gerunds and infinitives? Again, right? So a verb is an action, right? So in this case, it depends on the sentence position and they will have different uh, usage, right? The noun function, they will be, they will function as nouns in some cases. For example, gerunds, it can be reading, singing, walking, etc. right? All uh, the, the words that end in ing, as you already said, and infinitives, to plus the base form of the verb, to eat, to sleep, to study, right? No questions, everything's clear there, right? Okay. So normally in a sentence, we have subject, verb, and object, right? Like I play basketball, right? Something like that. 
So nouns, these are the similarities, right? Nouns, gerunds, and infinitives. They can be subjects and objects, right? No verbs. Sujetos u objetos. What is the subject of a sentence? Can anybody tell me? Like ex examples or what is the subject? The mother is singing, for example, the subject maybe can be the mother, uh, mother. Exactly, it's the doer of the action, right? The mother, right? Exactly. And what is an object in a sentence? What is the function of an object? Receive the action. Exactly, is the uh, the thing or the person or the noun that receives the action exactly very good so those are um, the functions that gerunds and infinitives can have in a sentence right only two functions for example snowboarding is her favorite sport what is the subject snowboarding right snowboarding and snowboarding favorite, is favorite uh, sport. exactly it's a favorite sport is the object right her favorite sport that is the object but in this case snowboarding is the subject and that is a general right snowboarding is her favorite sport he likes reading now reading is a general right and in this case is acting as an object he likes what does he like reading so he receives the action, right? Reading is the object. So as you can see, we have two gerunds and they act in different ways. Objects and subject. Infinitives, right? They need to study. To study is the object, right? What do they need to study? That is the object, not the subject. And it's not a verb. The verb is need. So rules. We have some uh, rules, for example, there are some, how, how do we know when are we going to use a jet run? When are we going to use an infinitive? It's really simple, right? Uh, the first rule is that some verbs are followed by gerunds, right? For example, consider, discuss, enjoy, finish, keep, practice, quit, recommend, and suggest. After these verbs, we need to write a gerund so you need to learn them by by heart right these verbs yes claudia do you have a questions claudia no questions okay if you have a question let me know okay raise your hand or tell me teacher please i didn't understand this i didn't understand that let me know. Okay. And next one, uh, for example, verb plus gerund, they discussed having a party this weekend. Why do we use having there? Why do we use a gerund, having? They discussed having a party this weekend. Who knows? I don't know because it's a uh, gerund and it's after a word that that is followed for a gerund. <laughs> exactly, correct, exactly. So as you already know, here in the previous uh, slide, right? Let me see here. Discuss, right? After discuss, we use a gerund, right? They discussed having a party this weekend. Just so a if question. We use... Yes. Sorry. Okay. It doesn't matter if these verbs right here, those verbs right here, are in difference. Um, for example, in past or or whatever, the next one is going to be ing, right? I -N -G. Exactly. Karen. Exactly. Okay. It doesn't matter if they're uh, the, the tense, right? It's, if they, they can be in future, in past, right? So in past, present, perfect. Okay, Claudia, no problem. So in this case, it's in past, right? 
they discussed having a party this weekend. So it's in past and we use a gerund. Another example, he keeps forgetting to text me. Let's see, Jose Isaias. Why do we use forgetting there? Why do we use that gerund? Can you repeat the question, please? Yes, uh, we are using a gerund there. What is the gerund, Jose Isaias? Forgetting. Forgetting. And why do we use uh, forgetting? Why do we use a gerund there? Yes, Eliu. Yes, because the verb keeps belongs to the list of verb that we must use gerunds before. Exactly, exactly. That verb follows a gerund, right? Exactly. So after this verb, we use a gerund, keeps, right? He keeps forgetting to text me. This one is in present tense, so uh, no problem. Very good, thank you, Leo. Infinitives, we have the same rule with infinitives, right? We have a list of verbs that follow infinitives. Agree, decide, hope, learn, need, offer, plan, promise, want. Do we have more verbs? Yes, but we are going to check just these ones just to uh, explain this rule, right? So after these verbs, we have to write to, right? Agree to, decide to, hop to, learn to, need to, offer to, plan to, promise to, and want to. Example, she decided to apply for a new job. She decided to apply. Let's see. Zulma, what is the infinitive there? Apply to, to apply. apply exactly <laughs> to apply, and why do we use an infinitive there? Why uh, for the rules, uh, the verb uh, desire exactly Include. for the exactly for the verb desire, right? After desire, we need to use an infinitive. Very okay. good, perfect. We have another one, they offered to help her move. Let's see, Noel Garcia, can you hear me? Noel Garcia, are you there? No, okay, next one, let's see, Jose Torres. Are you there, Jose Torres? Yes. Okay. Hi there. So what is the infinitive in this sentence? Infinitive. Yes. What is the infinitive in this sentence? Mm. The offer to have her move. I don't know, teacher. Okay. Who can help Jose? Me. Teacher. Okay. Yes. Okay. He is to help. Exactly, Kathy. Is to help. And that is the infinitive, right? To help. And why do we write an infinitive there? Why? Who knows? Because, because we are using two verbs. We are we, using two verbs. Yes, like offer to help. Ah, okay. So we have two two verbs there, offer and to help. Yes. Okay. Is that correct? What Kathy said? In some I, cases I, that can apply, but in this case, according to the rules, after the word offer, we need to use an infinitive. Okay, but Kathy said that we have two verbs there. We have offer and help. Do we That's have correct. two verbs there? 
is correct? Or, yeah. or in this case can be changed because offer is in past. Mm, offer is in past, but it shouldn't change, right? Okay, uh, let's review a little bit. I don't want you to get confused, okay? It's okay, pregunten y digan lo que piensan. Very good, no problem. So in this case, a sentence cannot have two verbs, okay? Never. A sentence will have one verb and then can be followed by another uh, independent or dependent sentence and you will find another verb, but you are not going to find like two verbs, like for example, in these kind of sentences. They offer to help her move. We only have one verb there. What is the verb? Offer or help? Oh, offer. Help. Offer. Offered, offer. Right? Offer. Offer. Only one verb. Offer. The verb there is offered. Okay. And what is to help? Infinitive. It's an infinitive. Exactly. It's not a verb. It's an infinitive. So to help is a verbal, right? It's not a verb. It's an infinitive. It's a verbal. The, the verb is offered. So they offer to help her move. And as, as Ana Maria said, we use to help there because after these verbs like offer, we need to write an infinitive. We have a list here, right? So agree after agree, we need to write an infinitive. Decide an infinitive, right? And so on. But remember, it will have only one verb, not two verbs. For example, in this one, she decided to apply for a new job. What is the verb? Decided. Decided, exactly. And the other one to apply, what is to apply? The infinitive. Infinitive, exactly. You see, it's, it's kind of easy, right? She decided to apply for a new job. To apply is not a verb, it's an infinitive. It's a verbal, very good, perfect. So let's continue. Um, there are some other verbs. There is another list that takes both gerund or infinitive. It doesn't matter. Examples, begin, continue, hate, like, love, prefer, start. So we can use any of them, gerund or infinitive, whatever you like. I can say, I like listening to music, or I can say, I like to listen to music, right? Both are correct. I can say, let's continue talking about this, or let's continue to talk about this. It's correct. Do you have questions right now? Preguntas? No. No questions. Let's see, um, Alejandra Mendoza. Are you there, Alejandra? Yes, teacher. Okay. So um, why do we use, um, in these two sentences, let's continue talking about this and let's continue to talk about this. Why do we use gerunds and infinitives? What can we use both? Mm, because it's uh, action uh, that is continuing this moment. Okay, it's an action that is continuing in this moment. Is that correct? What do they say? What do you think, people? Is it correct or no? She said that we use both because it's an action that is happening in this moment. Yes. Yes? No. I, I no, who said that... no? Uh-huh. I think that it's a rule. No, it's a bueno. A rule is think? a rule. Yes, it's a rule, exactly. It's a rule. What is the rule? That you can write both. Uh, okay. In both in germ or infinity. That verb. Exactly. Exactly. We can use a gerund and an infinitive after this list of verbs, right? Begin, continue, hey, like, love, prefer, and start. Exactly. So after those verbs, we can write uh, a gerund or an infinitive. Perfect. Uh, normally, gerunds are subjects, normally, right? We can, as you already know, we can. they can function as subjects or objects, right? But 
normally uh, gerunds are subjects. For example, gardening is my favorite hobby. What is the meaning of gardening there? What is the meaning of that? ¿Qué significa gardening there? What is the meaning in Spanish? Hacer jardinería, sembrar. Jardinería, plantar o sembrar, no sé. Exactly, like jardinería. Gardening is my favorite hobby. What is the verb in that sentence? Gardening or another one? Do you see any other verb? Never to be. Is. The verb to be, exactly, is. That is the verb, right? Gardening is a gerund, is function as a subject there, and is is the verb. Gardening, jardinería, right? Very good, perfect. Another one, meeting new people isn't always easy. Meeting new people. What is the meaning of meeting in Spanish? Conocer. Conocer. Conocer, exactly. It's not conociendo, right? It's not an action that is happening right now. It's conocer. It's a subject. It's like a noun, right? Meeting new people isn't always easy. Very good. So as you can see, a gerund is another subject there. Easy, right? Now, infinitives. Infinitives are written after adjectives uh, sometimes, right? Many times. For example, I was sad to see my test score. What is the adjective there? What is the adjective? Sad. I was sad. sad. Exactly. And as you can see, after sad, we write an infinitive. I was sad to see my test score. To see. Estuve triste por ver o al ver mi resultado del examen, right? I was sad to see my test score. Next one. Is it difficult to make a K? This one is a question, right? A question. So we can use infinitives also in questions, in negatives, in different tenses. Is it difficult to make a cake? What is the adjective there? Difficult. Difficult. And what is the infinitive? To make. To make. To make. Exactly. So is it difficult to make a key? Perfect. So I, as you can see, uh, this is also a prep another rule. Another rule. Prepositions, right? Prepositions are on, up, of, right? We have a lot of prepositions. And about is a preposition. So after prepositions, we write gerunds. For example, I thought about taking piano lessons. I thought about. So about is a preposition. And, and actually after that, we need to write gerunds, right? It's not a verb, it's a gerund. Another uh, sentence uh, or another example is, did you plan on calling me back? Did you plan on calling me back? What is the preposition there on on exactly and what is the gerund calling calling exactly you see so did you plan on calling me back calling me is the gerund and the preposition that is another rule right excuse me are you going to share this presentation do you want me to share the presentation with you in the group yes it will be useful for you yes, yes right please. okay yes I will share. please Yes, please. Okay, I will share it. No problem. I will share it. But if you have any question, just let me know. Because the, the, the thing here is, is not to fill out um, exercises or to complete the platform. The objective is for you to practice and learn a little bit more of English, right? So, yes, I will share it. No problem. Okay. So, infinitives. So, gerunds can be nouns, right? So uh, infinitives can be written after nouns or pronouns. For example, the librarian told the students to be quiet. Okay, noun, students, to be quiet, right? To be quiet. So they can be, you can find them after nouns or pronouns. To be quiet is the, to be is the infinitive. And we have another one. We ask them to go to the beach with us. 
What is the pronoun there? What is the pronoun? ¿Cuál es el pronombre en la oración? What is the pronoun? We. That no. is, yeah, that <laughs> is a pronoun. That is a subject pronoun. But we have an object pronoun, right? Then. We have another one. We have, actually, we have three pronouns there. But we is a subject pronoun. We, what is the and us. One? we them, them and them us. We, them and us. Exactly. We, them and us. So them is a pronoun. And after the pronoun is another infinitive, right? To go. To go. It's not a verb. It's an infinitive. So actually, that those are some of the rules. This is the summary for the rules, right? So there are some verbs that take gerunds. There are some verbs that take infinitives. And there are some verbs that take gerunds or infinitive. It doesn't matter. Gerunds can be subjects. And infinitives can be after adjectives, right? Gerunds. Um, can be found after prepositions, right? So after preposition about, on, of, we are going to find a gerund normally. And infinitives, uh, they can be found after noun and pronouns, right? So you are going to find them there. Do you have any question right now? Preguntas, questions. If you don't ask me, I will ask you. I was a little confused about uh, the noun and pronoun plus infinitive because I, you ask what, what, what the, 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 pronoun, the noun or pronoun, I thought that we could be the pronoun. We, we ask them, but yeah. in this case was them. Yes. Yeah, actually, we have uh, three pronouns there. We have three pronouns. We is a pronoun, them yes. is a pronoun, and us is a pronoun. But yes. it says there that the rule says that normally we are going to find infinitives after pronouns or nouns, right? So us, them, right? Them is a pronoun, and we are going to find them there, right? To go. Got it. Okay, so that is like the rule, right? But actually, ask is another verb that takes... Uh, infinitive so that's why we need to write to go also any other question no questions okay let's see anna garcia are you there anna garcia no anna garcia for today okay let's see diego anthony Are you there, Diego, Anthony? Yes. Okay, what is a gerund and what is an infinitive? What is a gerund and what is an infinitive? An infinitive. Mm -hmm. And to go mm -hmm. to and a gerund thing. What and a gerund? What is ah, a gerund? Can you uh, uh huh. Uh, jumping. Okay, very good. Can you choose? One of your classmates, please. Uh, okay. Uh, Maria Azucena Ayala. De Flores. Maria Azucena Ayala. Are you there, Maria? Uh, yes. Okay, Maria. Can you tell me one rule uh, to use with gerunds? One rule. Um, when are we going to use gerunds? Give me one rule. Um, when we have the subject plus gerund. Yes, subjects can be can be gerunds. And what else? When are we going to use them? When am I going to write a gerund? 
uh, one of the well, the German is when we are ing. Mm -hmm. And when is uh, uh, after a preposition, right? When we find a preposition, yes. we are not going to write a German. Okay, very yes. good, Maria. Choose someone else, please. Okay. Katy Soriano. Sorry. Katy Soriano. Katy uh, Soriano. Are you there, Katy? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Give me one rule uh, for infinitives. When are we going to use infinitives? <laughs> I don't know. Really, <laughs> I lost that class. Okay, infinitives can be after a list of verbs, right? For example, want, right? Want, want to, right? Agree, agree to, right? Very good. Perfect. Teacher? Yes. Hi. Uh, we can use an infinity after to make an infinity negative or yes. for example expression beginning with it yes we can yes, use actually, infinity yes yeah, so actually we are going to have some examples right now i just wanted to make sure that you have clear everything like gerunds and infinitives when we are going to use gerunds when we are going to use infinitives and the rules right uh and the concept so i just wanted to make sure that you have clear all of this information but yes we can use it in different uh questions like in questions and negatives it right but it depends on the on the on the sentence right but yes we are going to see more examples no problem no. It, it hasn't finished yet okay no problem so uh since you don't do you have any other question uh somebody else alguien más que tenga alguna otra pregunta any other question no questions okay so uh, we have examples here and we have some uh, exercises, right? It says, say or write a sentence using a gerund or infinitive verb. You can say it or you can write it in your houses, right? No problem for you to practice. So we have the first one. Call me when you finish. Clean. We are going to write a gerund or an infinitive. We are going to write to clean or cleaning. Cleaning. Why? Why, why? why am I going to write cleaning? Because we have the verb finish. Okay, we need let's to, see. Plus, to add cleaning in gerund. Clean. A gerund. Okay, let's see. Exactly. Call me when you finish cleaning. Very good. Call me when you finish cleaning. Perfect. Next one. Let's see next one. The teacher told the students every night to study or studying? Study. To study? Are you sure? Okay, let's see the response, the answer. To study, exactly right. Tell is, uh, it has like, we need to write an infinity after the verb tell. And also we have students. A student is a, noun right so we have a noun there and actually that helps us to identify that we are going to use an infinitive the teacher told the students to study every night okay uh jose francisco choose someone from your from the class who hasn't participated yet alejandra elizabeth alejandra elizabeth are you there alejandra Yes, teacher. Okay. I want you to help me with this sentence. He promised his sister to the beach. Take. Infinitive or gerund? Mm. Infinitive. Infinitive. To okay. take. Inf to take. So he promised to take his sister to the beach. Let's see. Exactly. He promised to take. Very good. Okay, uh, choose someone else, please, Alejandra. Mm. 
Jose Isaías Portillo. Jose Isaías Portillo, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, help me with this one. Sing, always cheers me up, gerund or infinitive? I think it's gerund. Gerund, so how will be the, the sentence? Singing always cheers me up. Singing always cheers me up. Very good. Singing. Exactly. Singing. Because it's a subject, right? And normally, gerunds are subjects. Very good. Choose someone else, please. Jose Isaias. Okay. Let me change. Uh, Navy Iris. Mendes Albeño. Iris Albeño. Are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, help me with this sentence. They considered to a new city. Move, Jaron or infinitive? Jaron. Uh, okay, they consider moving to a new city. Uh, that infinitive. Infinitive. Infinitive, teacher. Yes. Okay, infinitive. So they consider to move. No. To move or moving, Nady? Moving. Moving, let's see. Moving, right? They considered moving to a new city. Exactly. Consider follows Jaron. Uh, choose someone else, Nady. Alguien más. Um, Ana Garcia. Ana Garcia. Okay, Anna, are you there? Anna? No? Okay, we have another Anna here, Anna Correa's. Uh, let's see, it is important enough to sleep every night. Get, infinitive or gerund? Infinitive. Anna, do you agree with Noel? Yes, I was looking for the verb. Sorry. It is important. Sorry, I don't Getting. No, no worries. It's no fine. problem. Yes. No problem. Yeah. It's always okay. Yaren mm, is getting. In... Sorry. It is important getting enough sleep. Yes, maybe, Yaren. Okay. Let's see. Remember that important is an adjective, right? Adjective. Exactly. So it's an so, infinity. Okay. Exactly. You see, that's important why we follow the, some rules. And after an adjective, it is follow a infinity. Okay. An infinity. It is important to get enough sleep every night. And let's see this one. We talked about our own business. Start. Infinity or Jerome, what do you think? We talked about to start our own business. Jerome. Jaron or infinitive. Porfirio said to start. Who agrees with him? Yes, to start. No, he said Jaron is starting. Uh -huh. Exactly. Starting. The position. The position and, and about what is about? A preposition. A preposition, exactly. About. We talked about starting or own business because of the preposition exactly. You see, it's easy, right? We, we know the, the rules. So very good, you did it very good. We have here a list of, because we have a lot of verbs, right? That are followed by gerunds. Not only five, right? We have a lot. <laughs> and this is just an example. If you want to, uh, you can start learn uh, this list, right? If you want to, right? It's for you, right? And uh, you can start practicing like I like uh, uh, or I enjoy painting. I allow coming late to my children. I love um, studying English, right? I need resting, right? I, I complete, I don't know, cooking. I don't know, things like that. You see, so we just gerunds after these verbs. We have another one, another list a verse followed by infinitive, right? Wish, claim, threaten, like, avoid, can stand, serve, uh, try, propose, refuse, 
a lot of them. After these verbs, we use infinitives. If you have any question about any of these verbs, let me know, right? Let me know uh, with this list or with the other one. And if you have, uh, if you can tell me, you can ask me, right? Uh, what can I use, teacher? Uh, how can I use this verb in a sentence, right? And um, we have a third group, right? Ver verbs followed by infinitives or generous, right? I know there is a lot, but it's just for you in case that you have time. You can start right uh, checking that in in when you have a doubt, you can check this list right. Um, why is it here an infinitive? Why is it here a general? Oh, because it takes both right. So just in case, fortunately we don't have uh, exams right. Fortunately <laughs> we don't have tests here. <laughs> Imagine right, the whole night is studying. So no, just this is just extra information. Uh, do you have any questions with gerunds and infinitives? Preguntas del gerunds and infinitives? No? Okay. So I'm going to share this information. And also for tomorrow, I need you to write two sentences. Two sentences with gerunds and two sentences with infinitives, right? And we're going to practice uh, the grammar rules. And you will tell me why or we are going to check if it is correct or not. I will share also this information in the group today so you can start checking the, the rules, right? If it is after a verb, if it is after a preposition, is because it's a, a subject, right? Or it goes after a pronoun. Yes, Ana Maria, go ahead. Yes, I just have a question. This homework, we can send you just the sentences or we need to, I don't know, write in a word or something like that. I don't very know. good. Uh, yeah, very good question because you already have the platform and hopefully you are going to learn how to how to complete the platform. So that is your homework. But in this case, you can write it in your notebook or in your computer. And I will ask tomorrow, okay, tell me the sentences that you wrote, right? Um, and you will tell me, Ana Maria, what is your sentence? Okay, for example, studying English is my passion, right? Okay, very good. And what is that? Oh, teacher, that is a gerund. That is my sentence with a gerund, right? Okay, very good. And why did you write it like that? Oh, because gerund here is a, is a, is a subject. Okay, perfect. Next one, right? And I will ask another person, Porfirio. Okay, I write, uh, I prefer to watch movies, right? On weekends. Okay, Porfirio, and what is that? A gerund or an infinitive? An infinitive teacher. Okay, what is the infinitive? To watch. Okay, why? Because after prefer, we write to watch, right? That's it. And that's we are going to do uh, the next class, just to check, right? Uh, solo escriban una, just write one sentence. We are going to change it here. One sentence, one, uh, one for gerund and one with infinity, only that, just to check. And then you are going to check if you have questions and if you have uh, doubts about that. Okay, do you have any questions right now? Preguntas? Somebody else? Nady, Nady Mendez. We have another uh, Nady here. Nady Mendez. Do you have any question, Nady? About infinitives, gerunds? No. About the exercise we have to do tomorrow? No? No. Okay, very good. So remember that we are going to uh, check this tomorrow and we are going to review a little bit of this tomorrow, right? Also for tomorrow, if it is possible, try to finish section two or at least try to investigate about, um, we are going to talk about social situations, right? And also, um, what is this? What is this called? Reported speech. How do you feel with the tenses? Como, como están con los tiempos? Like, 
do you know the future tense, the past tense, present perfect, present continuous, past continuous, present perfect continuous? Uh, do you know all of those tenses? Yes, Have but sometimes I cannot use it in the reporter's <laughs> speech, to be honest with you. It, that is really difficult to me. It is. Yes, that topic is difficult. We're going to cover that on tomorrow is Wednesday or Thursday, I guess. On Thursday, we're going to cover it. Me too, says Claudia. Okay, no problem. So we are going to cover that because to use the reported speech, we need to we need to know how to use the present, the past, the present perfect. So uh, if you still have time, because I know that it's difficult for you because you work and everything, try to review the past participles and all the verbs, right? In past, if you have time, right? Because we are going to use it in that way. And also I will work after this class, I will work in this. Um, if, if we have any problem or any doubt, try to work in this section. Also try to finish it this week. And if you have any problem, let me know. Si tienen algún problema con que no les acepta la respuesta, uh, escríbame o manden el screenshot y lo vamos a resolver. Eso es lo que estábamos haciendo al principio de la, de la clase, tratando de resolver el, 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 el la plataforma. Lo voy a decir en español porque por si tienen esa duda, pero si tienen, por ejemplo, aquí me sale siempre esta mala y no la puedo resolver, eh, mándemela para ver si puedo reportarlo, ¿ok? Okay, so uh, also prepare tomorrow the two sentences and we're going to discuss about, we're going to learn vocabulary also, okay? Um, I'm just uh, taking advantage of the time right now. So we are going to talk about politeness, right? If it is polite or impolite to provide a compliment, we are going to talk a little bit about that. We are going to, to talk about uh, also netiquette and about common conversational expressions. And if you have lived any difficult situation, like, like you have to be polite or somebody was not very polite with you. So we're going to talk about that. Try to prepare a story about that or vocabulary about that. And we will try to cover it. Okay, so do you have any question right now? Eliu, Ana Maria, Nady, Porfirio. Erasmo, Ana Garcia, Diego. Anything from my side. Okay, perfect. Tomorrow, for uh, para los que no participaron, for the ones who hasn't participated, I will mm -hmm. ask you again, okay? <laughs> I will ask you again about gerunds and infinitives, okay? So I will ask you, um, mm -hmm. uh, we will review everything again. I will ask mm -hmm. you about the rules. Uh, actually, I will share right now the information because I probably I will forget it. Anyone with link. Okay, I will copy the link right now and I will share it right now in the group. Let me know if you have any problem uh, checking it. Okay. Here. I will share right now. But I will ask you, I will ask you uh, again, right, the same things yesterday just to review. And let me know if you receive it right now. Let me see. Is this avanzado dos? Okay. Okay. Now you have the slides. We're going to develop these slides during the week. So if you have any questions, let me know. I think that it is time to go to sleep or go to have some dinner. Thank you very much for your effort. I know it's kind of difficult to be here at this time, but uh, hopefully you will take advantage of this, okay? So I will see you tomorrow and have a nice evening, okay? See you tomorrow, teacher. See you, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Practice your English, bye.